joining us via Skype from Ogun State to talk about the situation with security there is His Royal Highness Oba Akintude Akinyemi. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Happy Easter. I wish you the same. Thank you very much. Uh, we're hearing of incidents of insecurity and robbery at this time of lockdown. Some say this could have been predicted and measures to check it outlined. What is your thought on this? Uh, well, like I, like I said you know, before, that an hungry man is an hungry man. And when you are at home without having nothing to eat, you could see the desperation will come out in you. That's how will I get something to eat so I will not die. You see, that's why I said I don't believe in clamping down youth. But if the government do the necessary things, you will see that without even carrying gun, we'll be able to tame the youth. But so, telling them to stay at home, there must be provision for what they're going to eat. Um, and accept government stand up and rise up to their responsibility, we'll still be having issue of insecurity everywhere in Nigeria. So, when you talk about um, rising up, what in specific terms uh, are you referring to? Do, are you aware of the reasons why these young uh, people are choosing to take to arms? Could it be just they are opportunists? I don't think so. You see, if we do what we are supposed to do, if the government do what they're supposed to do, then you can now put the blame back on them or anybody who go extra mice. But two wrongs don't make it right. When somebody is at home, a youth for that matter, being at home without having nothing to eat, and don't forget the fact that some of these boys we're talking about have their own family too, and they need to feed them. So once they are at home, their wife will be disturbing them, their children will be dragging them, that day, nothing to eat, nothing to eat. The, the next seconds, their instinct will tell them there's a shop somewhere we can go and buckle the shop and we'll get food back. It's not even happening in Nigeria alone. Even in South Africa too. So we don't have to put the cart, we don't have to put the cart in front of the horse. We need to do the right thing. The government needs to do the right thing. But then from there, possible? we cannot shift blame. Is it, is it possible for the government to reach everyone? Considering the exigencies right now, priorities are a bit skewed to different angles, and there are so many things that they need to organize at the same time. Well, the government is huge. A government is large. And there must be separation of We are doctors, we have our practitioners, we have the police. We can still have a department that will take care of the people by giving them food. You see, if you go to the Bible, you will also see that God even values food. After God created Adam and before even God created Adam and Eve in the garden of food. Got it. For people to go, for them to go. That is why I said it is no big deal. We are not bigger than the United States of America. And we are not bigger than China. So there must be separation of power and governance. We must love our people. We must be considerate that these people need to go around and work, but we ask them to stay at home, then we should be able to make provision for what they are going to eat. Okay, has any efforts been made? Aside uh, doing that... Okay, go ahead. Say that again. Uh, just finish your thoughts. Finish your thoughts. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is the government need to have the feelings of the people. They need to care for them. They need to love them. You see, this is Nigeria that people are paying tax. There's no tax return. 
this is just an expediency. It's just a little thing that the government can handle. We are not even Kotonou. We are not, we are one of the richest countries in the world. What is food? That is why I said, well, a half bag of rice can feed 20 people in three weeks. I am very sure of that. I'm a traditional ruler, I'm a grassrooter, and I know what I'm talking about. Um, has so any effort been made be... to engage the state government on these concerns that you've expressed, especially um, in the light of the fact that many are complaining that they've not seen the promised palliatives? Well, the, the, the government are putting in their best to me, but the best is not enough. That's what I'm saying, that the federal government too should last with the state government. Like, look at what happened in Lagos. Lagos is about the best in Southwest, if I'm not mistaken, in terms of palliatives, because there was an intervention fund given to them by the federal government, 10 billion, you know, to be specific. But in Ogu State, we are yet to get any palliative from the federal government. Another state too. So this has nothing to do with policies. The federal government should give intervention fund to all the states facing these challenges of COVID-19.